Hi, I'm Maureen Cole. I'm the flight nurse for Starflight, and this is my partner, Ryan Swanson. He's the paramedic. We both fly for Starflight for over 10 years, I believe it's been. And what we do is our business is basically to save lives. We, uh, we go fly on scene to wherever they, they call us for accidents, and we'll take any trauma patient that we need to to whatever trauma hospital they have to go to. We also fly inner facilities. That's where we take a patient from one hospital to another hospital that needs care, um, a specialized kind of care. Our flight area is usually Chautauqua County, Cattaraugus County. We fly into Erie County. We've also flown over into uh, Pennsylvania. And we, fl we fly out as far as Wyoming County as needed. We, uh, we work cooperatively with the other flight agencies in western New York. And um, as I said before, our main business is to save lives, and that's what we're here for. Good morning. Uh, I'm Grant Pearsome. I'm a Starflight pilot. Starflight's is a, a medical uh, helicopter service provided by the Chautauqua County Sheriff's Department and WCA Hospital. And I'm here this morning uh, at the Dunkirk fly-in breakfast with Starflight 2, which is a McDonnell Douglas MD-900 aircraft. It's a twin-engine uh, helicopter, and it's unique in quite a number of ways. Over here is, is the uh, other Starflight pilot and uh, who flew in with me this morning, and uh, he's been with Starflight a long, long time. Twin-engine, five-bladed uh, rotor, and the thing that's mostly unique uh, about it is that there's no tail rotor. If you pan to the back, you'll see that there's no tail rotor. And it, uh, it doesn't uh, mean that uh, the rules of physics have changed and, uh, and uh, the helicopter doesn't need something that uh, serves that purpose. This one does all that, but does it in a different way. It's got, a, it's got an impeller that's run off the a drive shaft all off the transmission that sits right here in the in the back side of the fuselage and it pressurizes this tail boom. It's it's full of pressurized air and that pressurized air spills out along the tail boom through these two slots here. And it, it, it spills out with a lot of force. It creates an area of low pressure on this side of, of the tail boom and it, it literally acts like a wing. If there's low pressure here and high pressure on the back side, it moves this tail boom in this direction, which is what you want for anti-torque control. Now it's supplemented with a thruster. Uh, the the uh, About 40% of that pressurized air coming down the tail boom is vented through this thruster, the, uh, the pilot to control this part of it through the pedals in the cockpit, and uh, so it acts just like a conventional helicopter. There is no difference as far as the, uh, the pilot is concerned. Yeah. The engines on board are two Pratt and Whitney 650 shaft horsepower uh, turbine engines. It burns jet fuel. Um, it's got skids instead of wheels. Uh, it's 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 built. It was built originally as a me, uh, a medical helicopter. Now there are other applications for it, but it's used primarily in the industry as a medical helicopter. It's got a, a dedicated medical interior, unlike our other helicopter, which had a an interior, a, a medical interior uh, fabricated for it locally. The, the helicopter has um, all the monitors and, and most of the emergency uh, equipment on board that uh, a normal uh, uh, well-equipped ambulance has. Plus we got the benefit of straight line speed uh, so we can usually uh, get to a a scene or a hospital four to five times faster than, than um, you know, a conventional ground ambulance.